with all of California now under a state of emergency. And the fire battle is even tougher tonight. The latest fire broke out in the hills north of Santa Monica near Los Angeles. More than 10,000 homes and businesses were evacuated as an explosive fire blasted flames six stories high. Farther north in Sonoma County, the Kincaid fire has burned an area two times the size of the city of San Francisco and forced about 185,000 people from their homes. Power is out tonight to about a million homes and businesses in the state. Carter Evans leads us off tonight at the Getty Fire near Los Angeles. Southern Californians woke up to powerful winds and towering flames up to 60 feet high in a fire season that's been relentless. Crazy, absolutely crazy. This man was driving on Interstate 405, one of the nation's busiest freeways. In the surrounding hills, some of LA's most exclusive neighborhoods. <laughs> Fire crews had to navigate narrow canyon roads amid a blizzard of ash. The goal right now for these firefighters, for the most part, is going to be to keep these flames from spreading to other homes. And to get residents out. As immediate sudden as this, hey, we have a fire, it's fast moving, it's time to move. Among those who had just minutes to flee, LeBron James, who tweeted, these L.A. fires are no joke, had to emergency evacuate my house. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, who called firefighters true action heroes. 1,100 firefighters were able to save all but a handful of homes. California's worst fire remains to the north, where the so-called Kincaid Fire has now devoured an area twice the size of San Francisco. It's destroyed 96 buildings, including one of the state's oldest wineries, a devastating blow to the region's economy. 185,000 people remain evacuated in Sonoma County, overwhelming local shelters. I'm thinking, you know, is this what we're going to go through every summer now? It's kind of scary when, you know, it seems almost seems like one is worse than the one behind it. For now, winds have calmed across the state, but all it takes is one stray ember for new intense flare-ups. Carter joins us tonight. And Carter, thinking about those firefighters who've been working around the clock, any sense they will get a break from these winds? Nora, they have been very busy. In one 20-hour period, California firefighters have knocked down 330 fires, and now they've just got a few short hours before the wind picks up again. Here in Southern California, they're calling for the strongest wind event this year. Mm, Carter, thank you.